with Miss Lala. Well, what can I tell you about my fellow Bruins? We're all just so incredible and amazing. Let's start with talking about John Wooden. John Wooden played basketball at UCLA, became the head coach, broke records of winning seven titles for our Bruins in a row, which no one has ever done that consecutively for men or women's basketball. I think the most it was was four, but he did seven. And what else? In the winning, he did 88 consecutive streak winnings for us Bruins. And now I wanna introduce to you guys, Sue Enquist. Sue Enquist is called the John Wooden, but of softball for UCLA. She also used to play softball for UCLA, then became the head coach and helped the NCAA win 11 titles for us Bruins. Let's hear it for Bruins, woo! Don't hate USC, don't hate. So anyways, I would love to introduce to you guys, Sue Enquist adopted something she called the 33% rule. And I wanna show you guys, cause I learned it reading The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John C. Maxwell. And here it goes. This is the 33% rule adopted by Sue Enquist, fellow Bruin. And basically what she is saying is that you can divide people in school, in your team, at work, or anyone you would want to into thirds. This is the bottom third, the middle third, and then we have the top third. So let me share with you what the bottom third of your group of people look like. They suck the life out of you because nothing is ever good enough for them. They take energy and motivation out of the environment. Middle third, they're happy and positive when things are going well, but down in times of adversity. Circumstances dictate their attitude. Then the top third is positive attitude even in tough times. They are leaders, influencers, and game changers. So she suggests to find yourself with this group of people because then right here you pretty much have no face because you let the circumstances dictate how you feel and how you will be and this one is just taking all the energy of you and the environment and we definitely don't want that we should definitely find our surroundings with these type of people yeah sometimes it's uncomfortable because some people you know they're doing better than you but don't you want to hang out with winners because more than likely you're going to be a winner how many times have you heard tell me who you hang around with and i will tell you who you are it's very true if you're letting me know that you're with these kind of people i can pretty much dictate what kind of person you are but if you're only hanging out with successful people guess what you're probably going to be the next successful person in that group just saying that's why my group of friends only involves Oprah Winfrey, Allen, Six Ziegler, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Mal Robbins, um, Brian Tracy. As a matter of fact, let me call Allen. She probably wants to come with me. I'm gonna invite her to a vegan restaurant. She's awesome, people. Hello, Allen? Yeah, I wanted to invite you. I tried out this new vegan restaurant yesterday. It's amazing. You wanna come? Okay, pick you up in about an hour okay see you then hang out with successful people and you will be successful too 